today we are going to talk a little bit about orchid pollination. There are a few reasons that you might want to hand pollinate orchids. Firstly, you might want to create mass replicas of the parent orchid. Secondly, you might want to hybridise or crossbreed new and novel varieties. Or, in the case of the vanilla orchid, you would hand pollinate the flowers in order to use a seed pod for processing vanilla. This is a cross section of an orchid flower. It has both male and female parts. The male part is the anther. This houses the pollen behind the pollen cap. The female part is the stigma. As you can see, this leads through a path down the column to the ovary. So now that you understand the structure of a flower, how do you pollinate it? In order to pollinate the flower, we need to remove the pollen from the anther. You can do this with a toothpick or a cotton tip. I'm using a saute stick. The pollen is hidden underneath the pollen cap. Here you can see the little yellow grains of pollen on the end of the stick. This is then placed on the stigma. The area is quite sticky in order to trap the pollen in place. And there you go, one hand pollinated flower. In this case we self pollinated using the same flower. But if you wanted to hybridise a new variety, then you would take the pollen from one parent plant and place it on the stigma of another orchid. Once you have pollinated the bloom, the flower will start to wilt. Within a few days, the ovary will start to swell. Eventually, the seed pod will form and look something like this.